everyone, how are you? My name is Alex and welcome back to my reviews of the 1.14 snapshots. So, as you can see behind me, there is no wandering trader. And also one of my llamas disappeared. Uh, the ticking entity crash is not a problem anymore. However, the wandering trader does despawn after a certain period of time. Um, it seems like he won't despawn if he's inside a boat. And I'm hoping in the future if I get a name tag that if I get another, you know, wandering trader over to this house behind me, that if I put him, you know, in the house, that if I put a name tag on him, he won't despawn ever. That's what I'm hoping. But basically, the wandering trader spawns in every 2,400 ticks. And that's how that goes. So, um, yeah, and when he despawns, he leaves behind his llamas. So, the trader llamas stay, but he doesn't. It's a little, it's a little complicated, <laughs> in my opinion. The, the whole, I, I know that Mojang are in the um, whole bug fix mode right now with 1.14. And I would really really appreciate it if they fix that <laughs> you know what i mean like really work on that because it's a bit complicated um i mean the only other complaint that i have about 114 1.14 right now is that the pillager raids are still really buggy and they're kind of hard to predict and when it comes to like me out here in the middle of nowhere they're a bit too frequent and i find that bothersome there's something about that that is just like Leave me alone to build, because this is Minecraft, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, let me build what I want to build without interrupting me constantly. I, I don't like that particular aspect of it. Like, I love the pillagers, don't get me wrong on that. I love having them here, but I don't love them every two seconds. So, um, yeah. But anyways, what I'm actually going to, you know what, I need to... I should breed. Should I do that? No, I should not do that. Do not breed your cows right now, Alex. Behave yourself. I'll save that up for later. Um, what I really need to do is get to work on my watchtower. I really want to work on that. I think it'll be really cool to start that particular thing right now. So in order to do that, I need to gather materials, as usual. <laughs> because you can't build anything without materials. So I'm going to go do that, and it's going to take me a little bit of time, but that's okay. And, um, we will go from there. So I'm going to go do that. That will take a little while, and we will be back when I have said materials, and we will start building the watchtower. Which, at that, you know, crossway between this path... Hang on. I, I can't explain it with it behind me. This, um, area right here in these, like, four blocks, this is where the watchtower is going. So it's going to be right there. I think it'll be like a really cool place to have it do like the whole underpass thing. I just think it'll be really cool. Anyways, so um, I'm going to go do that and uh, I will see you guys in a little bit. I was confused about where the sixth llama is. He's right here. Uh, I think that the 1.14 snapshots don't save every little thing that you do because you guys remember the last episode. I moved this guy to the other path. He's back over here. So, um, yeah, that's a little odd. Good, finally. Okay. So, time to move you to over there like you're supposed to be. Oh, and you know what? Let me... Do I have any of the blue carpet in here? <gasps> I don't! Really? Oh, well, that's annoying. Um, do I really not have any more blue carpet? I wonder if I can re-dye black wool. I'm not sure if I can. I don't think I can, actually. So let me... Um, go after the sheep right here. You're still with me, right? Okay, good. There's, this is going to sound really mean, but there is a part of me that would like, okay, that was weird. Anyways, there's a part of me that would really like to be able to shear llamas, 
And I know that seems kind of odd, but that's actually a thing that you do with llamas and alpacas. If you are um, if you are a farmer who herds them and whatnot, it's pretty commonplace. So what what the heck was I doing? Oh, I know what I was doing. I was bringing you over here. Come on in. Thank you. Let me out. I'm going to put carpet on you and that'll be that. Okay, bye. I think we are ready to work on this now. So I did these four pillars right here, pretty simple. And now, um, and I know there, there's this big stream of water here. I chose the most like old school scaffolding ever, even though we do have a scaffolding block in 1.14, which I um, am neglecting to use at the moment, which is actually pretty funny. But um, anyways, so <laughs> let me just, uh, get myself up here and actually let me do something somewhat safe for myself it might not seem like a safe thing to do but it is so um because otherwise if I lose the water it's gone forever so we're gonna go like this and then we are going to go like so and then we are going to go like this. You know, it's funny. There was somebody's video that I think it was one of Mumbo Jumbo's videos. Yeah, it was where he was talking about like stupid mistakes that we've made when we first started playing the game. And one of the biggest ones was that I didn't know how to um, shift to sneak. So I kept thinking, you know, someday I'll learn how to do that and then I'll be better at this game and I won't die in lava. And then it finally occurred to me, oh, I could just go look up the game controls in the game, and then I'd know how to sneak. <laughs> it was really funny, because I think I played the game for like a whole month before I finally figured out how to do that. Um, yeah, so anyways, let me put that there. No. <laughs> like that. And put that like that. Like I started to do something, and then I realized that's not how I wanted to build this. So... We'll do that, and then these guys, like that, and the way to get up here is actually going to be right here and right here, so I need to um, modify that. <laughs> Aw, I was hoping it would just get sucked to me. Please give, thank you. <laughs> At least I got one. So, um, the next thing that I actually want to do is I want to go like, oh, this is not going to work the way that I planned it to. Nope, this is not. There needs to be, like, a different way up. Um, I think just right here would be fine, actually. Because there's a fence border that I want to have around this, and I really don't want it to look silly. So, we can actually... Oh, I'm losing, like, all of these. I'm going to have to go down and get them before they despawn, because I really don't want to waste materials like that. Because that's just not good. So, gimme! No. Okay, fine. Don't gimme it, then. I want it anyways. So, let me uh, put down some water, go get those... Whee. Oh, and there was um a pillage, pillager raid too here, of course. Just like a couple of minutes after I say I'm so tired of it and I wish it wouldn't happen, some pillagers come in and I got to one of them. And so that was fun, but I got an emerald out of it, so that was also fun. So back up we go. Whee. Uh oh, lag. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that the lag spikes come in like pairs? <laughs> Where they just go from like, you know, a little lag spike to then like a lag spike that just sits there for a really long time. I thought I saw another pillager. See, I'm like 
convinced that they're gonna come at me now. Like, I'm convinced of that. And I don't know why I'm convinced of that, because I really shouldn't be. Because they're not here right now. <laughs> and they don't really happen as often as I make it seem like they do. But you get what I mean. So, up like this. I actually did the smart thing and counted out how many blocks I would need. More or less. <laughs> so, this and... How do I want to do this? Um... I should have enough for what I am doing right now. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> My mouse has been like extra sensitive lately. I don't know what that means. So, yeah, but um, anyways. Now we'll do this guy right here. <sighs> God, I hate when that happens. Don't you hate when that happens when you think you clicked on the right part of the block, but you didn't, and you placed the stair wrong? I'm never going to get used to that. And it's about to be nighttime soon. This is going to be a very, very simple um, watchtower. It's not going to be like heavily stylized, and that's okay. I'm not really trying to make it heavily stylized. I'm trying to make it like functional, in a sense, because I need to be able to like watch what's happening. Whee! That's the fun thing about water scaffolding is that you can do things like that. So, from a f excuse me fence. So, from a far away distance, that's what it looks like. That's very generic looking. That looks like something that was built by somebody who just started playing the game. Or like a little kid. We need to stylize it. But first we also need to sleep. And I think we can do that in a way that like doesn't require a lot of materials and also looks good. So, let's see here. What do I have? I have a lot of things. So I can do a lot of things. Um, oh, I want some stairs. And I also want to make some fence gates. So I'm going to need a lot. <laughs> That's all that that made? Really? Okay, time to cut down more trees. I'm telling you, like, Greenpeace would be so mad at me for this. <laughs> I mean, I replant, so it's not like I don't understand the concept of replanting trees. But, um, yeah, Greenpeace would just be having a heart attack right now. You know, if you're watching this, did you ever hear about that thing that they did, too, where in order to make a statement about protecting the Earth, they, they actually defaced a very important ecological area in order to make a statement. It was like such an almost accidental contradiction of what they stand for. And the, there was a part of me that was very highly amused by that too, in a sense, because it's like, I don't know what your end game was, but it didn't work. So, yeah, but anyway... <laughs> This, there was a part of me that found that highly amusing. That might not be enough for what I want. So, that... A few more ought to be good. I think that'll do it, because I want to do, like, some fences down there and some of that up there, and... Also stairs and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So I want to need to make a whole bunch of ladders too. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so let's go back up and add our 
little details and make it look pretty. How am I going to do this? Uh, I think I can actually do it this way. If I'm just really smart about it. Oh. I can't do that right there. But I can do it around the roof, so that's fine. Um, please place the way that I want you to. Thank you so much. I wonder if I have any more dirt. Let me see if I've got more dirt. I feel like I should. I mean, I used a lot of it to, like, plan out where things are going to be, but I feel like I should have more dirt somewhere. Perhaps not. Oh, I have sand. That'll work. That will definitely work. So, let's see. see that looks better already. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks better already. Okay, so now that we have sand, let's, um... do this. By the way, if you guys are um, wondering why I keep sighing a lot, um, it's not, I'm not like, oh, this is so annoying. That's not what I'm doing. I'm cold in my room, and I breathe heavy when I get, like, really, really cold, like I am now, and, you know, I, um, I turned the heat up in my apartment, but it's not what I wanted. It still, um, wasn't enough. So, yeah. By the way, I just realized, too, that the other day my mother had asked me to turn up the heat and I completely forgot to do it. Like, I was like, okay, and then I walked in my room. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I never said I was smart. <laughs> so... And this should make my life just a little bit easier. There, okay. So yeah, there we go. Alrighty, put that there. Put that like that. And... That sheep keeps making me think that it's a pillager. I don't know why. Because it doesn't look anything like a pillager at all. Not even remotely. So it's like, why do I think this? Um, I just heard a weird noise. It could be my mother's uh, TV in the background. So, um... By the way... The trailer for Season 8 of Game of Thrones just came out. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to watch the final season. I mean, I've watched like every season up to this point, so there's a part of me that feels like because I am a fan of the show that I am obligated to watch the show. But there's another part of me that just... I'm so upset about the writing from season seven to the point of being like really upset and I shouldn't be because it's really not that big of a deal because I have no control over the writing of the show but just I was so disappointed in the storytelling or lack thereof I didn't think it was right for the show or for everything that um like, all the characters that they have to just completely condense it into a small number of episodes like that. I, there's too many characters in the show to do that, and I didn't like it at all. <laughs> and like I said, I know I have absolutely no control over the writing of the show, and that's probably not my place to feel that way. Um, I do. And... So, 
there's a level of disappointment that I have over it, and I'm kind of like not all that interested in what happens. Plus, there were certain things that happened on the show that were just, like, bummers for me, too. I mean, I'm not going to give any spoilers because I know there are some people who haven't even watched that season yet. But for me, it was just like, that's not nice that that happened. At all. And so, yeah. But, um... I think that'll be enough ladders. Anyways, so yeah, I was just kind of bothered by a lot of the things that transpired during that season. Will this? It doesn't. Oh, thank heavens. That makes me very happy. Very, very happy. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'll figure out a way. Uh, anyways, so, yeah, I just, I have, I have feelings about the show. Probably not the only person who was unhappy with the season, and I'm sure there are a lot of people who weren't, who would be very confused as to why I'm unhappy, and that makes perfect sense. But, um, I mean, there were certain moments during the season that I really liked, but there were other things to me that just seemed off. Um, there were a couple things that happened that to me were like, what were you thinking? <laughs> and uh, you guys could probably guess what I'm referencing. Um, but, you know, I mean, for people who have, like, theories about the show, there, there were certain things that were confirmed that were just like, oh my god, finally! It only took, like, seven seasons for it to happen! And that's okay. You know what I mean? That's totally fine. But, um, you know, I was very happy about that. But it's just, there are other things that just, no. But anyways, um, it's kind of hard for me to, like, make a very solid point when I can't give away spoilers. And, and please don't put spoilers in the comment section, please, because that's not nice to anyone. So please don't do that. And... Oh, look at that. We're gonna have... Not enough torches. Now we will. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Do I want to... On either side? Would that be torch overkill? I don't feel like it would be. I think it'd actually look really cool. So we're gonna do that. Now, if I had a bow and arrow, this would be a really fun moment. But I don't, so... Alright, let me go to sleep again. <laughs> Why did I click on my crafting table to sleep? I don't understand that. I really don't. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. Alright, there we go. So that's very generic looking. Um, it's not as stylized as these other buildings, and that kind of bothers me. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I'm really not sure what to do. I mean, I kind of am, but... Actually, I know exactly what I can do, and I think it will look really cool. It's also going to take a lot of materials, but that's okay. That's totally okay. We can we can work with that. So first, oh, I don't have the... Dang it. I gotta cut down another tree. Sorry, Greenpeace. I mean, I suppose I could try using, you know, there's all these birch trees. I could try using other wood colors. That wouldn't be such a bad of a thing. I mean, if I was going to do it, then I'd make the, like, either the walls or the roof out of birch, but not both, obviously. And that would, 
Um, actually, I don't even have to do that necessarily. I could make trap doors out of the birch and use that as shutters for around the windows, which I think would actually look really cool. So I could definitely do that. Which would be a lot more fun, honestly, than what I'm doing right now, because I'm still not 100% sure about the watchtower. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you guys make suggestions. I mean, I just thought of something right now, but otherwise I'm gonna let you guys make suggestions that I think, um, would be way better than my current ideas. First things first, this does not look good right here. It just doesn't. It's been bothering me since episode one, or like episode two, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, let me down, please. Thank you. Oh, I have a bed in this house. Why am I sleeping outside if I have a bed in this house? I think the bell will be much cooler in the watchtower. So let's do that. Oh, oh yeah, because that's there, I have to jump to go up the ladder, <laughs> which is fine. Oh. This is a four, this is an even number, it's not going to work. It's going to drive me crazy if it's not even. It's really going to drive me crazy, so never mind. We'll find somewhere else to put the bell. You know, I was thinking because this is a village that it'd be kind of cool to make a church, even though I'm not a religious person. So there's always that. We always do that instead. Um, so, yeah, I'll let you guys make suggestions about that. But let me go collect a bunch of birch wood to make trap doors for the window shutters. And I will be right back. Okie dokie. So there's a part of me that really loves the birch um, window shutters and there's another part of me that's like oh my god that's a lot of birch and so I don't quite know how I feel about it yet I haven't quite decided but um, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys in the comment section to let me know what you think if you think I should just leave it and let it like let myself kind of like um, let it grow on me or change it to something else, or scrap the idea completely and use birch in a different way. So anyways, uh, um, I am actually going to leave it at that. Oh god, here come the pillagers again. Oh, for the love of god. So, um, I mean, I'm not ill-equipped to deal with them, it's just really annoying. So... Stay over there. I'm not in the mood. I'm trying to outro my video. Let me, uh, let me do this. I can keep them in my sights behind me, but I can also outro my video. So anyways, um, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then uh, feel free to subscribe, comment, and like if you want to see more. You know, we did make a little bit of progress today in this video in terms of getting the watchtower done and stuff like that. So, uh, um... You know, good progress, all things considered. Really looking forward to your guys' impact, um, impact, input <laughs> on the watchtower and the birch trapdoors and a few other things too. So um, thank you guys very much. And as always, I will see you guys next time. And so will the pillagers. Huh. Oh. Uh -huh.